Welcome everyone. Today we will be talking about uh, program evaluation and review technique or in short uh, PERT. Uh, the topics that we will be discussing uh, are activity expected times, um, project durations, uh, project uh, standard deviation, and activity standard deviation. For uh, activities, uh, sometimes we have um, an optimistic um, estimation of the time, a most likely estimation, and a pessimistic um, estimation. If that's the case, a triangular distribution will be uh, our uh, distribution for uh, the duration. And we can calculate uh, the expected time using the formula, uh, which is the sum of optimistic time. Uh, plus um, uh, four times uh, most likely duration plus um, pessimistic uh, time divided by six. An example has been uh, uh, given uh, where the activity expected time is uh, 17 days. For uh, projects, uh, we can um, determine the uh, completion time using critical path method. An example in here is a project uh, with 15 days of um, uh, time for the completion. Uh, but we are interested to understand uh, the probability uh, of completing the project sooner, uh, uh, for example, 12 days uh, or sooner. And also the probability of completing the project in 17 days or sooner. For this uh, type of uh, research problem, uh, program evaluation and uh, review technique will be very useful. What uh, it does, uh, PERT uses uh, a normal or Gaussian uh, distribution uh, to give us uh, the probability for any event. As an example, uh, if uh, 15 days uh, has been calculated as the completion time for the project using CPM. Um, a normal uh, distribution can represent other completion times. Uh, and uh, the area under the curve uh, gives us uh, probability. Uh, for CPM results of 15 days, uh, we have a 50-50 chance of uh, completing the project at this duration because of um, unforeseen uh, situation that might happen. For any shorter duration, such as 12 days, uh, the probability will be less. So in this case, the area under the curve is uh, 27%, and we will be talking about how this has been calculated shortly. For any duration which is more than 15 days or the expected time for uh, project completion, we have a greater uh, probability than 50%. In this particular example, we have 65% chance uh, that the project is completed at 17 days or sooner. Normal distribution or bell curve can be drawn using two factors of a standard deviation or sigma and mean value or mu. Uh, there is a formula uh, that gives us the probability based on uh, sigma and mu, uh, but uh, fortunately, statisticians have uh, created tables um, uh, for uh, uh, quicker calculations, and z-score is um, an intermediate um, value that we can use to calculate the probability in any bell curve or uh, normal distribution. As you can see, the tables uh, look like this. Uh, basically, uh, we can uh, find the value for z-score uh, using uh, a link between uh, rows and columns of this uh, uh, table. As an example in here, the z-score is 1.15, and the probability associated to that can be read from the table and it is 87.4%. What, uh, what is uh, Z-score? Um, this is a 
a measure of um, a standard deviation from the mean. So a Z score of zero uh, means uh, that the value is identical to mean. Uh, a positive uh, value of uh, one means that uh, we are uh, one standard deviation on the right hand side of the mean and the z-score can um, range between negative uh, 3 to positive uh, 3. Sometimes a uh, z-score um, uh, can be presented using uh, positive and uh, negative values. If you pay attention uh, to the probabilities associated to uh, positive and negative values of z, for example, 3, and minus 3, the sum of the probabilities are always 1 or 100 um, percent. As an example, for um, a z score of uh, 1, uh, we have uh, the probability of uh, 0.841, and for z score of negative 1, we have the, pro the probability of 0.159. But the sum of uh, the probabilities in all cases is equal to 1 or 0. This means that we don't need uh, to have uh, uh, Z scores both uh, positive and negative if only positive values of Z uh, are available. We can uh, calculate uh, both sides uh, uh, using uh, the rule that uh, sum of the probabilities always add up to one. We will be having examples shortly. Here uh, the project duration uh, from the critical path method is uh, 15 days and uh, we have a standard deviation uh, given to us. The objective is to understand the probability of finishing the project is 17 days or sooner. So we can calculate the Z um, statistics or the Z score, in this case 0.4, and uh, the probability associated with finishing the project in 17 days is 65.54. Because 17 days is longer than 15 days, the mean, uh, we have a greater probability than 50%. In the second example, we are interested in calculating the probability of finishing the project in 12 days or sooner. And now we are on the left hand side of uh, uh, the mean of 15 days. So when we calculate uh, the Z score, it will be a negative value. In our table, however, we only have positive values. So we find the probability associated with 0.6, which is uh, 72.57% and then we know that sum of probabilities for negative and positive values of Z should um, add to 1 or 100% so the real probability that we are talking about or area under care is 1 minus uh, 0.7257 which is equal to 27.43% Another uh, benefit that we can get uh, from uh, Z-score uh, table is um, uh, to calculate um, durations that are associated with uh, a certain uh, probability. In this case, um, we want to uh, understand that uh, what is uh, the duration of the project that we are 90% confident we can finish by that time. The CPM uh, completion time is 15 days and the standard deviation of five. We can use the Z-score formula to um, uh, calculate uh, the duration um, uh, for the project. And uh, this is 22 days. So um, we uh, can uh, find uh, from the formula and the table 
uh, distillation and we are 90% sure that uh, the project is uh, finished by uh, that time. The standard deviation uh, of the project we have used uh, in uh, our uh, calculation, but how it is uh, calculated for each activity, we have uh, most likely optimistic and pessimistic time. We can calculate uh, the activity standard deviation um, as uh, the difference between pessimistic and optimistic time divided by six. We know that variance is uh, a standard deviation to the power of two, and then uh, we can calculate the total um, activity variance for all activities in the project, and the square root will be the project standard deviation. 